almost my entire life of men, they all have to realize how great I am after they've showed me how terrible they can be. So why can't someone see how great I am to begin with? Why don't you ask Tristan some of these questions? He what was thinking. mindset when you cheated? You're asking me? Who the f else am I talking to? Chris is in shock that Chloe would pull this kind of sh on camera. Hi, YouTube. We started with Chloe and Chris heading over to Scott's place for a little wellness check or to film. So what's happening? Are you dating anybody? Oh my God, that's so subtle. <laughs> well, I'm dying to know. I've been too focused on like the kids and me. Are you ever lonely? Yeah. And they even brought in Penelope Disick to kind of be like, who do you see your dad being with? What? qualities should we look for in a girl? Older. Yeah, older than what he's used to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He was saying late 20s, but I said young 30s no, is fine. No, 20s? Whatever. Exactly. Uh, You're 40. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna date someone 19. Ooh. I would. Yeah, he would. But it's no. not a good look. You know, I feel bad for the one girl that like, went through the rounds and got to the date with Scott because Scott was like, yeah, she was great. I'd like for her to be my life coach. I feel like you should be like my life coach. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what the hell? Like you have Chris Jenner for that. We got a little blippy blip for the show and that kind of segued us in to the Chloe and Tristan situation. I think everything with Scott went really well. It also made me think a little bit about Chloe and where her head's at and where her life is going. Speaking of dating, what about you and your What's... dating life? I don't have a dating life. They enter into this pretty serious conversation that ends up getting a little bit heated, but Chris is just like, how are you gonna feel when Tristan moves on? You and Tristan do spend a lot of quality parenting, co-parenting time together. What happens if he moves on and you haven't moved on how are you gonna feel about that? And you know, one of the things that Chloe said really stuck with me that she was like, you know, everyone's like, Tristan's so great, Tristan's so great. And she's like, I kind of made him great and they're gonna get his greatness. Tristan's a great guy. If you don't think it infuriates me that I basically helped mold this person to who he is and now, the greatness of him gets to be shared with someone else. Yeah, that's very frustrating for me. But at the same time, I feel like she's gonna keep rationalizing how even though he's great, he had hurt her so much that she doesn't wanna take him back. Everyone was thinking about themselves. Yeah. Everyone. From all the girls, they were thinking about themselves to Tristan every time this happened. Like, right. no one ever thought about me. And yeah. so what I'm doing right now is I'm thinking about me. Yeah, I was heartbroken when he cheated on me freaking pregnant, and mm -hmm. he cheated on me when our surrogate was pregnant, mm -hmm. and he cheated on me with my little sister's best friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, mm-hmm. We never will forget. And screw Chris Jenner. I never thought I would ever I say that Excuse in my me, life. you really oh, got me off Actually, guard. delete that. We cannot get canceled by Chris Jenner. But no, screw Chris for not being open and honest with Chloe on camera. But when she gets in that confessional, she is over here spilling all the tea, saying how she's worried about Chloe. I really worry for Chloe that if Tristan does meet somebody one day and does move on, is she going to regret not getting back with him fully. And I'm wondering if she actually is open with Chloe about this because she's clearly talking to Tristan. It's frustrating that almost my entire life of men, they all have to realize how great I am after they've showed me how terrible they can be. When I knew how great they were to begin with. So why can't someone see how great I am to begin with? Why don't you ask Tristan some of these questions? I know, Chloe was definitely not loving that. Chloe's not settling down and she's literally telling Chris Jenner, well, let me flip the script here. What does a cheater think about when they cheat, Chris? What was mindset when you cheated? You're asking me? Who the else am I talking to? Chris is in shock that Chloe would pull this kind of sh on camera. Yeah, she's like, what the hell? Like, that was keeping up storyline. We are not bringing that back up. If Courtney's not gonna film, if Kendall and Kylie aren't gonna film, we gotta start bringing up the dirt from Kris Jenner. So this episode, we also get to see Kim and her friends and the kids go on a soccer mom trip with the boys 
and we can't really call this like a regular soccer mom trip because no. they went around the globe with these kids, okay? But for me, one of the most interesting parts was when they were in the car and, you know, her friend was saying like, oh, you know, we might meet some cute guys at the soccer game. There's cute guys. You know? yeah. yeah, there might be some I mean, cute like, guys. Why are you all looking no, 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 at me? <laughs> no, I'm saying I have age them. limits, guys. And I'm... 18? <laughs> You're like, after my last experience, I have age limits. As in... Pete, Pete Davidson! Davidson. <laughs> I need just a little bit more age appropriate. Yeah. I need like 40s. So her friends are into that for her. And you know what? I'm into that for her too. And I love how Kim Kardashian, this episode, she opens up as much as she can about her co-parenting relationship with Kanye. Yes, this was a very interesting revelation this episode. Kim hired a Manny. I do think that my household and even in our family, it's like very female dominated. And I recently hired a Manny. I really wanted a male around that was going to be picking him up and taking them to sports and I was scared out of my mind to tell their dad that. She is telling the audience, like, Kanye's not around. He's just off with his wife and matching stockings or whatever they wear. <laughs> the other interesting aspect of this was she was so worried about Kanye's reaction to the Manny, but then she said that Kanye, you know, met him and played basketball with him in Saint. When he was dropping off the kids, Kanye introduced himself, played Two on two with Satan him has been so nice to him saying, hey, if you're going to help raise my son because he handed him the ball like really easily or something. And he's like, don't do that. Make him go get it himself. These are like some of the rules that I would want. And I was like, oh, my God. OK, that's great. I do love, though, she still does whatever the frick she wants. Also in their conversation in the car, Kim brings up how everyone said her and her sisters were not invited to the Met Gala, but Kim wants everyone to know that she actually was. Like, I wouldn't go, but I'm also really petty like that, how, like, that thing came out that was like, none of the Kardashians are invited to the Met. It's like a big story. It just came out, like, last week, and everyone was like, oh my god, is this true? Are you really not invited? So, like, there's something about me that's like, oh, I just want to show up. I mean, it was just, like, a thing, because I was never invited for so, like, I was, like, Kanye's plus one. And it just goes to show how heavy the Met Gala weighs on Kim because she did start off as Kanye West plus one. But now Kim Kardashian is the Met Gala. So I don't know why that got to her so much because when you think of the Met Gala, you think of Kim Kardashian. Everyone's dying to be like, Anna hates Kim because she's not fashion and she's not in the real celebrity world. I don't know what point people are trying to prove, but I get that it gets to Kim because imagine you're seeing something not true about yourself over and over again. And everyone's like, they're not invited. And you're like, but I am. But I am. So what did you guys think of episode four of the Kardashians? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to check out last week's recap in case you missed it. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>